loving God, you are the source of all goodness and the fountain of all that is worthy. From you comes light and hope, joy and forgiveness. And for you we bring our songs of joy and thanksgiving. We praise you that your goodness is always at the heart of your creation. And that all we see and experience, all that is wholesome and good, comes from the heart of your glory and finds its origins at the centre of your love. It is your good news that gave us life and provides for our needs each day. It is your essential integrity that calls us and makes us your own. It is your honest demanding and unattainable love that enriches each day and every corner of life. Father, we praise you and we thank you for the goodness we find in Jesus, your Son. May our prayers bring him honour and glory and our lives become a reflection of his love. In the name of Jesus, who is himself the very centre of your grace. Amen. Amen. We join together in the words of the Lord's Prayer. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but to deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Chris is going to read to us now from the letter to the Hebrews. from Hebrews 13 verses 1 to 8. Let mutual love continue. Do not neglect to show hospitality to strangers, for by doing that some have entertained angels without knowing it. Remember those who are in prison, as though you were in prison with them. Those who are being tortured, as though you yourselves are being tortured. Let marriage be held in honour by all, and let the marriage bed be kept undefiled, for God will judge fornicators and adulterers. Keep your lives free from the love of money, and be content with what you have, for he has said, I will never leave you or forsake you. So we can say with confidence, the Lord is my helper, I will not be afraid. What can anyone do to me? Remember your leaders, those who spoke the word of God to you. Consider the outcome of their way of life and imitate their faith. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. 